Okay, in this uh, tutorial video, we're going to talk about the new screen of the red line and rotor machine. Uh, basically, now it's horizontal. Uh, the previous uh, screen was uh, vertical. But basically, the functions are exactly the same. So if you have watched some of the other videos, uh, the icons work exactly the same, except for the keypad. We no longer have the keypad. So... Uh, now to move the pantograph we have here the this uh, button right here when you press that now you can move the pantograph right here or uh, you can select the frame right here so you can select frames depending on the frame you're going to use and the trace button because we used to have a physical button right here uh, now it's right here so the trace it's going to be right here, border or outline check. I always recommend to use outline check, it's more accurate. So in this button right here, it's where you have some uh, different options compared to the previous uh, uh, model or the previous screen. Um, the icons right here, we have 16 icons. So you, scroll, you, you can see eight right there, and when you scroll, you can see the other eight. Basically, the most important are in the first line, embroidery mode, on and off. So that's where you turn your embroidery mode. Uh, to move forward the design without stitching is right here. You press once, you can move forward the design without stitching. For slow, right here, you press once, now it's doing slow without stitching and to do regular stitch you have to have the up and down arrow to uh, stitch uh, normally we got the automatically color change if you want your machine to be uh, automatically color change you leave it like that with the up and down arrow if you want semi-automatic you press this one the machine will basically what would do is when you set up your color sequence the machine will stop every time you have a color change, but the, the sewing head will move to the next color that you have programmed. And, uh, and it will stop and it will wait for you to hit start. And that's a good option for applique projects. If you want completely manual, you just press once uh, until you have the M right there. And uh, that is completely manual. It, it won't change any color. Uh, you have to do it manually pressing this uh, button right here. The, here is where you can move to whatever needle that you want. Uh, regular stitch, uh, up and down arrow, so you get, will have automatically color change. So basically, when you are doing regular stitching, you need to have these three icons, up and down arrows. Okay, that's regular stitching. Now, the three flower icon, basically it's to... Let me cancel this right here. It's to uh, low designs. So we have designs on our memory, so you can select whatever design you want to stitch. You want to select that one. You press this one here, the needle with the flower, to confirm. And that's it. That's how you change a design uh, from the computer. Now, if you want to low a new design, you turn off here you press the three flower icon and then you press the disc icon when you press this window will appears and right here will display a USB icon so when you have the USB you select that and it will show you the uh, designs that you have on your USB thumb drive and then you can put it into the memory once it's on the memory you can select whatever design that you want and then you press the needle with the flower and then you can turn on your embroidery mode and there you go that's how you change from one design to another then we have uh, this two gear icon basically it's settings for the machine or parameters for the machine and some settings for the designs when you press that you've got some options right here and you can scroll right here for more options so we got normal parameters basically if you want to flip the design right here you can well it's not letting me because the embroidery mode it's on so you have to turn off the embroidery mode in order to change some settings for the design if you want to flip the design one one two now it's uh, uh upside down if you want to put it normal you press this uh button two two times and there you go so it's basically like that 
So if you want to uh, get into parameters for the machine, you basically have those options right here. So uh, I recommend not to move those parameters unless you contact us so we can uh, check uh, if, if something is wrong with the machine. We have to check parameters, so we probably will ask you to go to settings and check some parameters of the machine. And that is the two gear. Here, the two, um, the two uh, needle with this little gear, it's where you set up your color sequence. Okay, so here is where you put any color sequence you might have for your design. Once you put your color sequence, you hit OK and you're done. Okay, the 100 icon is all the machine stops at 100 degree. All the red line machine uh, it stops at 100 degree every time the machine stops. So if for some reason it's not a 100 degree, a little uh, line will cross this little gear and that means that your machine is not a 100 so you have two choices to to you have two options to uh put your machine at 100 even though you move the the manually the the block knob that it's on the back of the machine you move it manually or you press this little icon right here when you press this icon automatically will go to 100 and the line will disappear meaning that the machine is now at 100 degree this three needle icon it's to move the sewing head so if you want to move the sewing head to needle 15 you just press the little 15, the 15 icon and the machine will move the sewing head to 15 so it's basically just to move the sewing head to whatever needle that you want to move it okay and now we have the other six uh, icons we've got the home button when you're in the middle of the design so I'm going to move this forward I'm in the middle of that design, I'm stitching that design, regular stitching, and then I decide to not to continue, so I'm going to cancel, I press the home button, and I want to go to my starting point, so I press OK, it will cancel the design and the panograph will move to the, to the starting point, so easy. Um, the end button, it's a... Uh, it's an option for uh, people who is basically doing applique projects. This is a very good feature because what this can do is if you are in the middle of the design, I'm going to f move forward this design. If you're in the middle of the design and then you want to fix something on the design but you don't want to pull out the hoop out of the tubular arms, so basically what you do is you can move the pantograph to whatever position you can fix anything that you like or if you want to apply any applique then you press the end icon and the pantograph will move where it was left and you can continue stitching your project so this icon if you do a lot of applique i will recommend to use this option okay Okay, we have the icon for trimmers. If you want to just make a trim, just press the icon and the machine automatically will do a trim. Here ha we have the disc icon, same as it's inside right here. If you press the three flower icon, you can see the icon right here as well. So it's exactly the same icon. If you want to uh, load new design into the computer, you press this icon, a little icon of the USB will appear right here. When you press that, it will show all the designs that you have on memory and you can select whatever design you want and put it into the memory lettering we got some lettering here some options if you want to create lettering through the machine uh, I personally uh, uh, I like better to use my software and create those lettering in my software and put some parameters there I think it's more easy to do it but the machine gives you an option if you want to play with this uh, uh, options that you have here just make sure to uh, use the correct hoop and make sure to trace everything that you play here everything that you can create right here just make sure that you trace it because sometimes it's difficult to see the measurements or the area in this little small screen but uh, we have an option so you can create letters right there so this uh, needle with the up and down arrow basically has options for uh, saving design starting point. For example, if you want to save 
on each design where your tubular must be every time you recall that design because you can save that here you have those options right here and obviously you have more options that to be honest I don't think you're going to be using pretty frequently but uh, the most frequently is going to be save design starting point even though when you start or when you load a new design and when you start the machine automatically it's safe where when when you start your new project so probably you're you don't need to to do it manually okay so those options basically are not very frequently used it as well as this one we got some parameters languages to set up your your uh clock i think it's right oh the t the yes the clock right here and then the touch cream adjustment if you're if you're touchscreen is not responding properly with stylus you have to uh, tab on the center of the cross and you have to follow that cross and once uh, it's done uh, the screen will be uh, adjusted and, and the the icons will respond much much better languages if you want to change language right here is the option and we have machine tests for example if your machine is not working properly uh, you call us for technical support we probably will request to go to the machine test to test that uh, some parts of the machine that we think that can be the problem so and we have a lot of other options that is you're not going to use it frequently okay so it's 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 um, it's an icon that has uh, more uh, setup and we have the um, uh, question mark basically it's telling you what uh, each icon what it does so we have an explanation of each icon how how that icon works um, to change frames also we have here you can press here and it will take you to this window that you can move the pantograph same as here it's, it's take you to the same place you can you can do the trace right here remember every time you blow a new design you have to trace your design just press the outline check and check the area where the press foot is going to be working to see if that design fits inside the hoop that you are using frame select if you want to select frame here you can select whatever frame uh, you want to use and that's basically it to increase the speed is right here you can increase the speed or you can decrease the speed right here and it will show right there what speed has been set up and when the machine is running right here will show you what speed you are uh, what the, the machine what, what speed it's, it's stitching uh, here we got a rabbit when you move the pantograph right here you got an option right here when you press that and you see one uh, arrow there basically that rabbit turns to turtle that means that you can move the pantograph slowly when you press that and you change here to two arrows it will change to uh, rabbit that means that you can move the pantograph faster the 100 degree icon every time you uh, the machine stops it stops at 100 so right here's where you wanna see if it's a 100 degree or not and then when you got a thread break uh, here's a status bar it will show you the uh, when you got a thread break it will appear right here an icon with a broken thread so this needle right here show you what needle you're in. If you want to move your sewing head, right number one, I'm going to move to needle number three. You see it changes to needle number three. If you see a zero right there, it's going to give you an error. This is not the error. It will give you an error. Color change half rotation of normal. It means that you have zero. The machine doesn't know how, uh, what needle it's in so you have to move manually the the head until you have a number right there we've got a two so now the machine knows and the machine will work properly uh, this is the color sequence right here is the color sequence you have selected and it's going to tell you which needle is going to be next when it's stitching this uh, two screens with the X means that the machine is not on the network so you can if the if the machine is not connected to the network it's going to show you there an x when it's connected to the network you're just going to see just the screens right there 
and that's basically the new the new screen I mean it's exactly uh, the same functions as the previous one I don't know if you want to see the the other videos that we have but uh, basically now it's it's a little bigger screen I think it's one inch more bigger and uh, and as horizontal so but it the functions are exactly the same thank you for watching